In this example, we're going to look at how to uh, work with the standard normal curve, or in this case, just a non-standard normal curve, to calculate percentages and then to also work backwards and find x values that correspond to certain percentages. Regardless of what the question is, anytime they're talking about uh, you know, data that's normally distributed, the first thing you should always do is draw yourself a picture. It just helps orient you to the question and what's going on. So here's my normal distribution with a mean of 62.2 inches, right, and a standard deviation of 2.1. Standard deviation 2.1. Um, now this is for women, right? Then they also found that men have another similar distribution with a mean of 68.3 and a standard deviation of 2.9. And this is men. Okay, um, most of the live characters in amusement park have height requirements with a minimum of 4 feet 8 inches and a maximum of 6 feet 3 inches, and they want you to find the percentage of women meeting that requirement. So I'll do this in red. Right. So they're basically saying um, where would those two values land on our distribution and therefore what percentage would be in between those two numbers. So the first thing we have to do is, is put them in the right measurement, right? Instead of 4 feet 8 inches, we have to make them just all inches. So 4 feet, right, of course is 48 plus 8, so that's 56, and then 6 foot 3, well 6 is uh, 72 inches, plus 3 equals 75. So they're asking for what percentage of women are between uh, 56 and 75. We're looking for all of that. Okay, You can use uh, the formula, the z-score formula. z equals x minus mu all over sigma. So x minus the mean divided by standard deviation. That'll give you a z-score. Then you can look a z-score up in a table. It'll give you area to the left, right? And then you can look up this one, area to the left, do the difference of the two. Or you can just go straight to technology. OK, let's see how to do this with GeoGebra, our free online calculator. You're going to want to go to geogebra.org forward slash calculator. Now it defaults to just the xy plane. So you want to go up here and change from graphing to probability. And then it gives you the default normal probability curve. You also notice that it defaults to the standard normal curve where the mean is 0, standard deviation is 1. And then it gives us the area between those two uh, z-scores of negative 1 and 1. Well, we can adjust this so it fits our data. We can change this to simply the mean of women. Standard deviation of women. And then all we have to do down here is change this to the numbers that we're trying to find the probability before, in between, right? So the lower end was 56, the upper end was 75, and there's the picture that represents, you can see it's pretty much everything, and then there's our answer 99.84% if we round it to two decimals. And it wants it to two decimal places. So there's point. So there's 99.84 percent. Uh, the percentage of men who meet the high, re high requirements. We can do the same thing on uh, the men. Now let's try the second example where we're doing pretty much the same thing, but with men, right? So we can even just leave these two numbers, and all we have to do is change the details of the data for men, right? They've got a mean of 68.3 and a standard deviation of 2.9, and it automatically does all the computations for us, and there it is for men, 98.955, so we would round to 98.96% as the answer for that one. Let's skip down to this question because it's a little different. 
and it says if the height requirements are changed to exclude only the tallest 5% of men and the shortest 5% of women, what are the new height requirements? So, uh, sorry, I should do that in a different color. We'll do these in blue. So now we have, uh, let's do the, the men. So there's my curve. I still have an average of 68.3 and a standard deviation of 2.9. They want to exclude the tallest 5% of men. So that means this area here is going to be 5% of my data. And they want to know how tall is that. Right? We're looking for the x that corresponds to that height. And then for the, the female picture, horrible curve, sorry, we're looking for the shortest 5%. So we're looking for this x value that has uh, the shortest 5% of the women. And this one, remember, is at an average of 62.2 uh, and 2.1. Now that we have our two distributions and we know what we're looking for, we just have to calculate those cutoffs, each one of those cutoffs. To solve this last question, we have to change a little bit because we need to find an x value, right? Not a probability, but an x value for uh, women that cuts off the lower 5% and then for men that cuts off the upper 5%. So you'll notice up here, we were on this one, which gives us the in-between. We could click here and you can see it changes that we're looking for x below a certain amount. Now we want to find the, the number for women that has 5% below. So we need to change this back to the, the women's details, or we could click over here and take care of the, the men's number first, since we already have their stuff here. Okay, so we want the, the number. We need to know what the number is, so we get rid of that because we don't know what it is. And instead, we put in that we want it to be 5%. And the nice thing is, is the picture always helps us to make sure that we did it right. right? We're going, okay, so this purple area, that's the upper tail, and we wanted 5% in the upper tail, so that's why we set this to 5%. And so, okay, so the probability that X is greater than 73, right? the probability that a, a man, or the man's height, is greater than 73 is 5%. So that's going to be our upper cutoff, and just round to whatever we want. I think we want 2 so this value here, this cutoff, is 73.07, which we round to 73.1. That's the answer they wanted. And then now we want the lower, but we need to change this back to the women's um, stats, 2.2 and 2.1. And again, we need to solve for this one. So we need to delete all this, get rid of that, and instead tell it that we want the cutoff to give us 5%. We double check that, yep, that's the lower end. And so there is the lower number of 58.745, which would round to 58.7 if we only wanted one decimal place. And 58.7. And that's how we get everything from technology.